Looks like someone's definitely been through here. Tire marks, broken gate. Somebody was in a hurry. Spider-Man. And somehow I don't think it was this guy over here. You're hurt. I'm okay. But you gotta find Mr. Standish. Fast. Those guys in the masks kidnapped him and forced him up to his place. He lives in the penthouse, top floor. Okay, sit tight. This is off. Sell it, huh? So glad you're here. I can't find my car. Could have sworn I parked on this level. Oh, look at that. They got electrocuted. Perfect. Wasn't even using my electrocution weapon either. Oh, no, you don't. Invincibility frames, do your thing! There you are! You're around here somewhere. I've right, got to make use of that three second finisher. Yikes! Speaking of finishers, oh, I've got plenty more for you guys too. Right, what can we use here? Oh, oh man, I didn't even know that big shock wave was coming, but that worked out in my favor. Hmm. Is that everyone? <laughs> okay, I certainly spoke too soon. Wait, you guys work here too? This building is serious about parking enforcement. Where does this guy think he's going? Whoa! Well, since I do have two finishes, I would be remiss if I didn't use them on uh, Fatimus Prime down here. Yeah, I know I've already used that joke before, but what can I say? <laughs> I've got my mind on other things right now. My focus is a little split. Good fight. A for effort. Elevator won't work. They know I'm here. But maybe I can sneak up through the elevator shaft. Should be able to make it up to the penthouse from here. If I get closer, I can take him out. Long came a spider up the water spout. Down went the demon and stuck. He's, I don't know, masked to the wall or something. So doing this, you don't actually have to take out every single demon that pops their head out. But what can I say? I, I do like to take down as many of these bozos as I can. All the demons so far, but I get the feeling we're gonna come across more. Okay, almost there. Don't speak too soon, Parker. Stay out of the light. No, stay out of the light, it is. And we have demons on the other side in elevator shafts looking at us as well, but we can't web them up. I've tried before, thinking that maybe we could just web up the other demons on the other side, but it can't be done. So you just have to dodge their uh their line of sight and just hope they don't see us be careful because sometimes if they shine their light over an area that's already lit up you won't see their beam of light so be careful to watch the pattern and see where it goes and there's no time there's no time trial on this take your time and make sure you get the job done Precise and effectively. Sometimes if you need to stop and just watch where the light the beams of light go, do just that. Just wait for him to do another cycle through. Yikes! I thought there was one coming up behind me. I was just going to say, wait for him to cycle through and then get the job done. But then I could hear the elevator shaft coming up behind me, so I, I had to move. Building. Yeah, of course, being the CFO, he has to be at the top of said building. Firebombs? Seriously? 
Now at this point, they start throwing firebombs down. I find the best course of action is just to stay out of the elevator shaft route and just go up the middle. To stay in between the elevator shafts and they just can't hit you. All you've got to do now is just dodge the, uh, the beams of light and just time your, uh, your advance in between the firebombs. Not good. Perfect. Okay, there we go. Web zip is what I was looking for. <laughs> Not running. Alrighty-o, I think that is us at Standish. There's Standish. Okay, now what? Enter your password. He sounds nervous. Maybe I should take him out. <laughs> he sounded correct, though. Don't underestimate, underestimate Spider-Man. Oh, there's two down. It looks like we still have several more to go. Let's see how many of these we can take out down uh, nice and silent. And try and stay out of the light while we're at it. Dangerous. Someone's still got an eye on him. Maybe we should take out these guys that are higher up first. Starting with this guy. Take out the lookouts and then take out everyone else down below. Well, walking off, buddy, was not a good idea. I think you were better off standing with your friend over there. Two guys down there. We've got a guy walking around here. We might be able to drop one of these lights on someone. Well, this guy keeps flicking between safe and dangerous. So I need to take out uh, whoever's looking at him first, I think. Lights out. <laughs> Good one, Pete. Oh, looks like we've got more guys joining the party. Let's take out these guys over here, and then we'll uh, see who's left. Hmm, I wonder if that's going to land on him. Perfect! To be honest, I still would have gone and checked on your friend that was just crushed by a chandelier before checking out the uh, the plant pot that made a tiny noise, but hey, each to their own. That's why you're a thug and I'm Spider-Man. Oh, these guys have got torches now. Have to make sure to stay out of their light too. Hey buddy, check out the noise from that big plot from that big uh I don't know sculpture? I don't even know what that's supposed to be. And with that guy taken down, there is nobody looking at you anymore, buddy boy. You and your scythe can take a uh, siesta. Scythe, sickle, whatever the whatever it's called. Okay, and it looks like we've just got the giant rotunda left. <laughs> Sounds like it could be a wrestler name. Weighing in 500 pounds, the giant rotunda. Okay, all clear. Hope Standish is alright. Oh, not another one of these guys again. Well, you just get the same treatment as the last ones. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm, what else can we end these guys with? Ah, hoping I was going to stick them together. Oh, I'll just have to do the job the manual way. Let's try this again. Good effort, guys. I'll give you a solid a B plus. You're not as good as the guys downstairs were, but you know. <laughs> Next time you come into a room, don't maybe don't um, announce yourself to the entire room. Last time one of those sword guys killed me with the element of surprise was what did it. It's safe now. What were they after? Just financial records. About Devil's Breath? How do you know about that? Why do they want it? I don't even know what it is. Mr. Osborne's been pouring money into it for years, but he keeps the whole project a secret. I'm the only one who has any record of it. Not anymore. Looks like they copied some records to a secure server. Payroll information. On a Dr. Isaac Delaney. Who is he? I, I honestly don't know. Down! Come on, come on! Wait, the elevator! Hold on! Okay, Stanis, I'm coming. Don't get your man bun in a twist. I would say this not have a repeat of Gwen Stacy, but that hasn't happened in this universe. And let's make sure it doesn't with Standish. And I gotcha. You okay? Yeah, I think so. Good, good. You know, as elevator shafts go, this is pretty nice. Hey, Yuri. You okay? Yeah, but I didn't get much out of Standish before these Sable guys stepped in and told me to back off. What's the deal? I get the sense all they care about is keeping him quiet. Because he knows about Devil's Breath. Right, whatever the hell that is. I'm working on that. I think I just got a lead. A lead? You sound like a cop. Don't you mean spider cop? Uh, Yuri? That's fair. Peter, what happened with Standish? He's safe. Okay, good. And the demons? We were looking for a name. You got a pen? Yeah, go. Dr. Isaac Delaney. Okay. Who is he? What's his deal? I was hoping you could tell me. I'm on it. Just give me a few. Oh, and before I forget, you left that tracker from Tombstones at my place. I'll drop it at Dr. Octavius's lab. Let you know what I find on Delaney. Okie pokey, okie pokey. So, it looks like uh, Standish has been taken in, into custody by uh, Sable International, so we're not going to be able to question him and get any information on why the demons are wanted him but we do have that one name that we can follow up on but before we do that we did uh, level up once or twice there we've got two more uh, points we can use we've got a new suit spider-man 2099 black suit the uh, the miguel o'hara classic uh, da -da -da, we still need to wait on those challenge tokens which we should hopefully be getting anytime soon we do have two more skill points which i'm going to put into blast off an air launch attack knocks back nearby enemies has a short recharge time between uses so that's good when i knock up enemies in the air now it uh, buffs back everyone else the amount of times i've been hit in the back after i uppercut an enemy has been a uh, quite a pain in the took us so that being said and done i don't know what i'm gonna uh, put my points into next at this point i guess it's just kind of like a uh, pick and choose i could do the uh, the surprise attack i think i might start putting them into these ones um so i can uh, unlock the ground strikes so i'm gonna need this first one of the uh, the research stations and um, so I might start upgrading them. And then I'll do air tricks and quick recovery and all that sort of stuff afterwards. So Let's have a look. See if we've got any more character bios unlocked. Dun, dun, dun. Ah, yeah, here we go. We've got one here for uh, Lonnie Lincoln, a.k.a. Tombstone. Alias the Pal One. Hmm. Oh, man. Tombstone. This guy. This freaking guy. I have fought a lot of guys in my days. 
guy with mechanized war rigs, guys with semi-mystical reality bending powers, guys with goofy names and goofier costumes. Lots of crazy guys. I have never fought a guy like Lonnie Lincoln, aka Tombstone. Most bad guys, you beat them up, throw them in the raft, they get pissed. Talk about uh, how they're going to take you down next time. Talk about how they're going to rip you limb from limb. Lonnie, man, all he does is smile. Every loss is just another great challenge on the horizon. Once told me, right after I handed him, um, wow, I butchered that. Every loss is just another great challenge on the horizon, he once told me. Right after I handed him over to the police. There's nothing Lonnie loves more than the promise of a great fight. And when the guy doing the fighting is built like a brick house with impermeable skin and razor sharp teeth. Well, let's just say I wish he discovered the joy of painting or something. There's only so many great challenges a spider can take. Powers and abilities, superhuman strength and enhanced durability. His skin is nearly impenetrable. Skilled at hand-to-hand -hand combat and proficient with firearms. And a decent cook. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's good to know. I suppose all powers and abilities don't have to be superhero related. He just might have a, you know, he might watch MasterChef a lot or something. Yeah, before we move on, we have actually had a uh, side mission that has uh, popped up, ironically enough, about Tombstone himself. So before we go on and we try and investigate uh, the uh, the Standish name, we are actually going to go uh, and uh, check out uh, this side mission here, Tombstone on the Move. Because uh, after we heard the uh, Mary Jane um, recite that story of how she watched a man have his skull caved in at the hands of Tombstone, we know he's building something for Martin Lee, and I think it's better we find out what he's building for Martin Lee and how he's uh, what his role in all of this is uh, before he shows us what that role is. But to do that, we need to go to uh, Octavius Industries and pick up the tracker. Message from Doc. Sorry to call so late. My mind's bursting with ideas. We've been thinking too small, Peter. Why replace missing limbs with facsimiles when we can improve upon them? People who've lost an arm understandably want it back, but we can give them something better. The human body doesn't need to be our default. We can go so far beyond it. Just some thoughts to conjure with. Doc's really giving it both barrels. Hope he doesn't burn himself out. Thanks for sharing. While I'm here, I should examine the transmitter MJ found. That is in fact the only reason we're here. We have no more circuit puzzles to do, we have no spectrograph puzzles to do, and uh, Doc's busy working away on his own. All we need to do is pick up the tracker and get back out there. Hell, Doc doesn't even seem to be here at the moment. I suppose it is quite late. He's probably, uh, probably gone home to sleep. If I can reverse engineer this... It should track Tombstone's shipments. Rightio, so we need a target voltage of 5. And it seems like either way, we're most likely going to have to go through that. Yep, 3... 3 and 1... Oh, right. Do you know, for a second there, I thought we only had 1 plus 3 and 1 plus 1. I was like, that only makes 4. Like, how the hell are we supposed to get 5? But okay, no. We need both of these because they're plus 3 and plus 3. There we go. Come on, Dave. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> and then we're going to need a minus 1. <laughs> Come on. Wake up. We're about to go um, um, investigate Tombstone and see what he's up to. The last thing we need to do is uh, not have our head in the game. That was the only thing we're going to have our head is splattered all over the pavement if, uh, <laughs> as we found out with poor Rick in, uh, when Mary Jane was sneaking in. Ah, fabulissimo. That should do it. Time for a test run. And I doubt there's anything new going on here. It wasn't too long ago we were just here ourselves. So let's, uh, let's make our way back out again and let's see if this bad boy works. Okay, just gotta follow the signal. Should lead to whatever it is Tombstone's moving. 
whatever it's moving, it's moving quick. So it is the dead of night before we go and track down Tombstone. I think it's time we go back to the dark suit and we go back to the, the iron arms. We're tracking down Tombstone. We already read from that bio that he is a force to be reckoned with and he's got an impenetrable skin. Well, let's get ourselves some nice metallic arms and a nice dark suit uh, to be uh, sneaking around his uh, base of operations. Whatever it is he's moving, it is on the move and it is moving quickly. Tombstone. This guy's the mother of all headaches. Impermeable skin plus zero morals is bad time. Hope running a chop shop's the worst thing he's up to. If you like this video and want to see more going forwards, please consider pressing the like button. It really helps the channel to grow. If you're new here, definitely subscribe and always push that notification bell to be notified of all future videos going forward.